brand new Target home decor haul of all of the new 2023 home decor. This was three dollars. I had to pick up this Studio McGee donut base. This is your sign. This is the green light you need to buy this item. It is so good. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shop with me and DIY home decorating videos. And today is a full brand new Target home decor haul of all of the new 2023 home decor that I have been showing this entire week at Target. So earlier this week, if you missed it, I did a fully dedicated video to the brand new Hearth and Hand collection. And then the next day I did a fully dedicated video to the new Studio McGee and Threshold home decor collections. And I did pick up quite a few items, so I wanted to show them today to you in a haul. At the end, I'm also gonna be sharing with you a bunch of the 90% off Studio McGee finds that I was able to pick up. I did share a YouTube short and an Instagram reel, as well as a TikTok, so if you don't follow me over on Instagram or on TikTok, you may have missed that, but I did show a little video of some of the 90% off Studio McGee finds. With those types of finds, I can't get you the information as quickly in a big YouTube video, so sometimes I share those information pieces on Instagram, so definitely follow me over there in case you missed that and you don't wanna miss future Studio McGee clearance. I did pick up quite a few items that were like literally dollars, like a dollar fifty blanket, yeah. But first we're gonna be looking at all of the brand new 2023 Target home decor that I purchased and that is where we are going to start. So if you're excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. In just a few weeks, I will be using these items to do like a spring home refresh, just kind of incorporating these new pieces in and refreshing my home decor for the spring and I'm really excited for that video as well, and you are not going to want to miss that, so be sure you hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, we're gonna hop into the haul, and I'm gonna show you everything I picked up from the new Target Home Decor Collections. So I broke everything up into categories, so like vases, plants, and I'll have everything linked down below in the exact order that I showed them. I don't have it broken up like Studio McGee versus Hearth and Hand. It's kind of all mixed together and it will just be linked in the order down below. And the first category is vases. I'm gonna start off first with an item that's actually an online only item. So if you want this item, you're gonna have to purchase it online. It's just this small little vase in this perfect brown color. Does this not go so well with everything behind me? It's like a really cool tone chocolate brown color and when I saw it I just knew I had to get it for the loft this is I think it was a $20 vase and I loved it so much that I actually picked it up in the regular color as well this one you can find in the stores so it's the exact same vase it just comes in two different colors but this one is online only yeah they were $20 it says it on the bottom I'll have them both linked down below I just thought they were super cute and there's tons of places that I need to incorporate new decor over the Christmas season we fully redecorated our loft and our dining room and it's really hard to shop for regular home decor during the Christmas season because lots of stores don't really have tons of normal home decor they just have Christmas items so I knew I needed to pick up and fill in a lot of spots and that's what I'll be focusing on in my spring decor refresh but grab both of these I think they're really adorable and I can't wait to show you where I plan to use them I feel like no one is gonna be surprised by this next item that I picked up I had to pick up this Studio McGee donut base it is such nice quality these vases like the two I just showed and this one are heavy 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 really really thick artisanal vases and I just love them so much this is only $25 I feel like that's a really good deal for a vase of this style and of this quality that's what I love about the studio McGee line is that she has McGee and Co which she sells online which is like her main home decor line and a vase like this would be like probably $150 so it's really nice that she offers the target version that is much much cheaper but often is really similar to items that she's putting out in her McGee & Co line, so I wouldn't wait to pick this up. It may be sold out online. If any of these items are not available online right now, be sure to hit the in-stock notifications or the restock notifications on the Target app because they restock items multiple times a day. But a hot tip, this is my Target app pro tip. If something comes back into stock and you miss it, you have to reset that in-stock notification so that you can get notified when it comes back in stock again. And you just really have to be ready to jump on certain items, but this is one I would highly recommend. This is probably my favorite item from the Studio McGee collection. I love it. 
We're gonna move from vases into plants because they're in vases. So I did pick up this one from Hearth and Hand. I love this. It's the Hoya Leaf Artificial Plant. I just love how it trails down. I thought the greenery on it was super nice. And I also really, really like the pot that it's in as well. This was, I believe, $20. This was $19.99. It was one of the first items I picked up from these new collections and I'm super excited about it. We have just so many blank canvas spaces right now where I took away Christmas decor and did not redecorate for the spring so I'm just really anxious to finally be able to put all of these new items into place they just have such a nice fresh look but these are perfect year-round home decor pieces so if you're looking for items that are just going to never go out of style they have a lot of them in this new collection they definitely have some more trendy pieces as well and I did pick those up and I will explain why I think they're more trendy but items like this are year-round home decor pieces that are not going to go out of style the next one I picked up also from hearth and hand was this one it is in that same pot i love the soil but this is actually a philodendron i love the leaves on here i just feel like they are super realistic they're not like overly shiny and like have that like faux plant look the hearth and hand plants are really really nice i actually don't think i picked up any of the studio mcgee faux plants i just really loved all the ones that came out from hearth and hand i also really really want the tall I think it's like the Geisophilia is how you say it. I may be saying that completely incorrect. I think somebody corrected me, but I can't remember if I'm saying it right or wrong, but I really want this one as well. I just like don't want to splurge on it right now. I'm going to try to wait for it to go on sale, but this one was $25. The pot size is really nice, and I just loved just the depth of the leaves and the different colors and like the ombre effect, and I just thought it looked really nice. And you guys know me. I love soil in the pots. I don't like the look of like Ross... <laughs> Ross. I don't like the look of rocks or moss. When I said Ross, it just made me think of like Ross from Friends. Anyways, I love the look of the soil. I just feel like it's way more realistic. So pick this one up also, and this one was 25. Okay, the next one I picked up, I saw it and I was like, okay, it's just so adorable. I have to have it, but it feels kind of silly because it's the one type of plant I could actually probably keep alive, and it is this little succulent pot. This is also from Hearth and Hand. It's just an adorable little, like, just ceramic pot and I liked the look of the succulent and it does have the soil on the bottom as well. I just really liked it. I felt like it was like really simple. It's one of those plants you can kind of like throw it anywhere and it will just add in like a nice fresh feel. But I can keep a succulent alive. We do have many live succulents around the house. For those of you that don't know, Brian's from Arizona and he just like loves succulents. So we have like cactuses and cacti and succulent pots like in the front and the back and in our home and all over. So I probably shouldn't have bought a faux one, but it was adorable. It was $6.99 and I really like it. The next greenery item I picked up were a bunch of these stems. These are the Geisophilia, Geisophila, Phyla, Geisophila? I don't know. I don't know. You don't have to correct me down below because I'm probably still going to say it wrong. But I did pick up four of these. I did pick these up to replace the eucalyptus that I have in the pots in the loft. If you missed my loft maker, I'll have it linked down below. I wasn't completely sold on the eucalyptus. It was just all I could find at Christmas time when I was redecorating the loft. So when they came out with these, I just like these a lot better. These look way more realistic and they're more of the style that I'm going for. These were $5.99 a piece and you get quite a bit on each of these stems. So I picked up four of them. I'll just probably put two in each. They also had some really nice like white flower stems that I showed in my video, in my hearth and hand video. So if you want to see the other stems that they have, you can check out that video. But picked up four of these. They were $5.99 a piece. Okay, we're going to stick with hearth and hand and then finish off with my new items being Studio McGee and then get into the clearance. The next item I picked up was this watering can. This is from hearth and hand. It's just like a beautiful brass watering can. They've had it the last few years but I picked it up this year for like a very specific spot if you can guess where this is going to go leave a comment guess down below and I'll pick one of you to send like five dollars for a coffee for on Venmo so definitely leave your guesses down below this was $16.99 I just think it's really really pretty it also is functional like you can use it and everything and we may 
but honestly I think it's going to be more of like a decorative piece and I think it's just perfect for the spring love the gold we have tons of gold all over our house especially this like nice like champagne -y, cool toned um, brushed gold we have a lot of that so this just fits perfectly I did pick up two kitchen items from the hearth and hand line as well the first one being this pot holder set I have the ones from the Christmas collection and I just think that they are really really nice and I love the quality and the way that they look I believe this is $8.99 for the set of two and I just loved the differing like plaids like this one you have like a smaller more gridded plaid and then this one is just like bigger more white color I love this you get the two for $8.99 like I said big fan of that it also comes in a couple other colorways that I've showed in my hearth and hand shopping video so if you don't like the cream I believe they also have like a black and white version as well as a blue and white version and blue is definitely the color of the spring I've been saying that in my videos but in a lot of my upcoming videos where I'm showing you new spring collections at other stores besides for Target there's just a lot of blue popping up so blue lovers are going to be really pleased with all of those upcoming collections and then the next hearth and hand kitchen item that I picked up was the beige table runner I love how it's not a stark white I had a stark white hearth and hand table runner and it did not wash well which I was a bit disappointed with because they're not like extremely cheap um, this was $25 because it's an oversized table runner I have a 72 inch table and I really like the look of a table runner kind of like draping off the sides so I prefer to buy the oversized table runners and I really appreciate that with hearth and hand you can get those items in the store so I picked this one up it just has like a little bit of a white stripe and then the white fringe which I like but the base of it is like a cool toned beige and I think it's gonna look really nice on our kitchen table I just realized that these have been sitting here the whole time and you could see them so you got a little bit of a sneak peek I didn't even realize that you could see those there the whole time but the last of the new items that I picked up oh my gosh I'm such a mess are the two green decorative boxes I am so in love with these we have like some green pops all throughout our house this is one of my favorite colors right now it's also a color that you may see popping up in the nursery we're starting to make like some final decisions and moving towards doing the nursery makeover I'm hoping to have that video out in the next like four to six weeks so you can look forward to that but this is a color that we may end up doing in there so I knew that I wanted these for sure and I feel like once the new collection items sell out in the store it's really hard to get your hands on them so I always say early bird gets the worm buy now decide later you can always return things but if you don't buy them when you see them you may not get the opportunity to again so I did pick up both sizes because I just like the way that they look stacked they look almost like a snake print I kind of want to get like a close-up on here for you they are beautiful the smaller size is 15 and then the larger size was 20 so if you want the set it is $35 you can use them functionally and store things in them I typically just use boxes like this very decoratively but I just when I saw these knew that I had to have them there's also a beautiful oval tray so if you're looking for like a coffee table tray or something for like a dining table or just like a decorative tray they have it in this exact style I can link that down below as well if you're interested but I just fell in love with these felt like they were super unique and picked them up I almost forgot I picked up one more new item from the studio McGee collection and it is this welcome home welcome mat it's an oval welcome mat and it's really really thick it's probably like an inch and a half thick it's really nice quality I just loved how simple it was and I loved the shape I feel like you don't see oval doormats as much like rectangular is definitely way more common and I just love the look of it so I had to pick this up this was $20 which I feel like is a good deal typically doormats at Target are around like 13 but this is with one of their designer collections and the quality is quite a bit nicer than Target's normal doormats so I definitely feel like it was worth it huge fan of that I didn't want to buy it online because I really wanted to see it in the stores first and touch it but if you were apprehensive and kind of on the fence about it this is your sign. This is the green light. You need to buy this item. It is so good. Alrighty, so that is all of the brand new 2023 Target home decor that I purchased from the January collections. Now I want to show you some of the 90% off Studio McGee that I was able to score. So if you want to see what I got for like literal dollars, like so, so, so cheap, keep watching okay so the first item I got was this arrangement it's just like a berry and I think olive leaf arrangement this was originally $20 I got this for two dollars two 
doll hairs like that is a steal I just like they were like giving them away so I had to get this this was mixed into my normal home decor section so I kind of had to do some digging and the biggest tip I can give you with clearance is like just scan everything like put everything in your cart if you think it could be on clearance if you don't know if it is and bring it over to the in-store scanner because that is the only way you're going to know what the in-store clearance price is online is never going to be as cheap or go on clearance as soon as in-store items because they need to make room in the stores for all of the new merchandise so i found this for two dollars two dollars i wouldn't have bought it for 20 but i will happily skip out of the store with it for two my next two dollar purchase was this pillow so it might be hard to kind of see the design but it's three trees just on the front of the pillow i actually found this mixed in with all the normal pillows that's how a lot of people were scoring on the christmas pillows there was this one another one that had like a white snowflake and then tons of other christmas pillows as well but i found this one mixed in and it was also only two dollars and i was really excited because i mentioned in my like christmas undecorate with me video that i accidentally dyed like all of my christmas pillows green like a slight tinge of green and i tried everything to get it out i tried bleach i tried color remover color catcher everything and the green just did not come out it was just way too saturated I guess so I had to donate and like recycle a lot of my Christmas pillows that I got this year and ones I had from past years so I picked this one up and I'll definitely be using it for my Christmas decorating next year I love the tassels it does not have a removable cover but it does have these three trees and I just really like the look of it so it is a pillow that I would typically buy anyways maybe not for 20 but like I said again for two sign me up pillows and blankets are where i really hit the jackpot i was just scanning every single blanket because i couldn't remember which ones came out at christmas time and which ones they just have in their normal collections so i really did score in the throw blanket department which i'm really happy about the first one i got is this beautiful rust red this is going to be so nice for fall of next year this is a knit throw that has these just kind of like little dots along the bottom and I really like how simple it is. It's a really nice soft chunky knit throw and this was only, wait for it, $3. This was $3. They did have a second one. I left it for somebody else. I told someone else that came into the section like about the clearance that was going on and kind of like pointed her in the direction of these so I hope that she was able to score it but I did see ton of people like also clearance hunting while I was in the store so it was really really fun. So I picked up this one first and then I was able to score that exact same blanket in this perfect brown color. Look at this. I am just so in love. I'm so in love with this blanket. I would have bought it for 30. I'm over the moon to have gotten it for three. So I'm just so grateful and thankful. This also came, I think, in like sage as well as in cream. So I was on the hunt for those as well, but I picked it up in the brown and then the rust red, both only for three dollars. Three. The next blanket I picked up was also only three dollars and it actually was completely unraveled like it didn't come nicely rolled up Someone had ripped the Like display sticker off. So this is actually another threshold blanket and it's kind of in this like checkered pattern And it's kind of between a rust and a chocolate brown It's definitely more of a warm tone brown than what I use up here But we have the blanket basket and you can just never have too many blankets So if you find a blanket like this that's unrolled, there's actually always a tag on the inside So right here there was another hidden tag. I was able to bring it over to the price scanner And this was I think actually the first three dollar blanket that I found just such a fan it matches my headband really well it's like a really pretty like cognac leathery type color and again it's really soft and i just feel like you can never have too many blankets especially with having the baby coming home soon like it'll just be nice to kind of have like blankets everywhere to wrap her in or maybe if we're kind of doing like tummy time stuff like that so really excited to have been able to score that blanket as well and they're just all colors that i really like so like that one i just showed like this one if i don't use it year round i could put it away and i'll definitely use it in the fall time so that was the next blanket that i scored i actually got one more the final blanket i picked up is this sherpa plush throw it's kind of a mess it did um have this nearby but it was unraveled this was a dollar fifty 
a dollar fifty because it was a fifteen dollar blanket and it is so incredibly soft like so 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 incredibly soft and i think it will get even softer as i wash it but it is like just like a really nice like micro fleece on one side and then the sherpa on the other and i just was so over the moon to have found that one as well so those were the four clearance blankets that i scored and i scored them for like a third of the price of a normal priced blanket so i was just so excited brian was like is this real i was like sending him pictures of like a lot of the other items that i was finding and then the ones that i ended up picking up and even he was like just buy them like why not and i i did consider buying more of them because i found more blankets and donating them but i wanted to leave them for other clearance hunters because i know that a lot of people were really excited about this clearance so I hope that you guys were able to score some of the clearance finds as well. And then I believe the last item that I picked up, this actually wasn't a 90% off clearance find, but it was just a clearance find that I did pick up and I hadn't showed you yet, is this um, Threshold candy dish that has this really nice snowflake. This was an online only item, so it was 50% off. It was originally 20 and I got it for 10. So I was pumped about this as well. It just goes so well with my decor. So when I saw it, I was like, I just feel like next year I'm gonna be really happy that I have that. So. That is all of the clearance items that I picked up and that is all of the new home decor that I picked up and that is today's Target haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and definitely check out the other Target videos that I did this week. Like I said, I did two full dedicated videos on the new home decor collections and then yesterday I did a full Target dollar spot shop with me. So if you wanna see what's new in the Target dollar spot for 2023, you could check out that video. I love you all so much. Thank you for shopping with me today and every day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.